Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. The wok is a simple cooking utensil. It is very much like a large round bowl. Now, if you are familiar with a solid bowl, uh, you have already using a cooking utensil such as this. Except with a solid bowl, you cannot cook with it. Uh, from this standpoint, choosing a wok is quite simple. All you have to do is to find something with a round bottom and with a high side. So when you stir contents in it, it will prevent the content from spilling outside of the wok. However, selecting the right wok is a bit more complicated than that, because there are woks on the market, such a wok like this, that has a large flat bottom surface area. Now, however, traditional woks has a round bottom. Uh, it provides better stirring efficiency. Uh, in fact, the traditional wok stove are designed specifically for a round bottom wok. Uh, this is a large 14 inch cast iron wok. However, round bottom wok has a problem uh, because it could not sit uh, appropriately on the surface of the modern electric stove. Uh, so in this case, a pedestal-like structure uh, is created so that it can sit on this glass top electric stove. A modern home kitchen stove are designed for cooking with utensils that with a flat bottom surface. So in order for a wok to be able to uh, cook on this type of uh, kitchen stove, they need to make adjustment by developing a flat bottom. Uh, here is a Joyce Chan 14-inch carbon steel wok. Uh, as you can see here is that uh, there are, could be different sizes for this flat bottom area. A larger flat bottom area will provide greater stability uh, to the wok. And here is a Emusa 14-inch light cast iron wok. It has even a larger flat bottom surface area uh, compared to the Joyce Chan 14-inch carbon steel wok. And as you can see here, you can go even one step further. Uh, if you look at this Kusina 14-inch standard steel wok, it has even a larger flat bottom surface area in comparison to the Emusa 14-inch light cast iron wok. In fact, this wok has a bottom surface area almost 9 inches across. It's like a small frying pan. So not all woks are created equal. You have round bottom woks to woks with a flat bottom. And this flat surface area go from relatively small to something that is quite large. In fact, in some cases, the flat bottom surface area is as large as a small frying pan. So how are you going to make the choice between a round bottom wok versus a flat bottom wok and then flat bottom woks with different sizes in their flat surface area. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fry an egg uh, using half tablespoon of oil in all these different types of woks and to show you their performance and to give you an idea how when you use different woks with different surface area will create different experience. For people who like round bottom wok, the argument is that because of the round bottom, the oil will pull in the center of the wok, so you will use less oil in stir frying. This is indeed is true. If you look at this 14 inch carbon steel wok, which is made by Ken Hong, which has the smallest flat surface area, half tablespoon of oil hardly able to coat the surface of the wok. However, by swirling as well as tilting the wok, it is possible to coat the surface of the wok, at least with a thin layer of oil. Now, the question is that would that be enough uh, to fry the egg uh, without having the egg to stick to the bottom of the wok? Uh, the result of this demonstration seems to be quite clear. As long as you have enough oil to cover the solid surface of the wok, even though the oil exists in a very thin layer, uh, the egg would not stick to the bottom surface of the wok. Uh, this wok has uh, a larger flat surface area uh, than the Ken Hong carbon steel wok. Uh, this wok is a Joyce Chan 14-inch carbon steel wok. 
In this case, half tablespoon of cooking oil、uh, only cover a very small surface area of the wok.、Uh, by tilting and swirling the oil in the wok, however, surprisingly,、uh, it does a pretty good job in cover most of the surface area of the wok. But as you can see here,、uh, the oil only exists a very thin layer. Again, the question is that: Will it be possible to fry an egg in this amount of oil without having the egg to stick and burn to the surface of the wok? Again, the result was very clear、uh, because the egg do not stick and it can move freely on the surface of the wok. It suggests that you don't really need a lot of oil、uh, on the surface of the wok in order to give it a non-stick cook property. Uh, this wok is a Emusa 14-inch light cast iron wok. It has even a larger flat surface area. A half tablespoon of、uh, cooking oil looks really paltry in this huge real estate of the flat surface area on this wok. Using the swirling and tilting tricks,、uh, however, allow the oil to be spread fairly evenly. On the surface of the wok to form a thin layer of oil.、Uh, the test will come from uh, whether uh, one can fry an egg in such a thin layer of oil、uh, without the egg from sticking.、Uh, the result looked promising、uh, because the egg do not stick and burn to the surface of the wok. Again, demonstrate that a thin layer of oil is adequate to、uh, fry an egg. At the Cusina 14-inch stainless steel wok is probably、uh, the wok with the largest flat surface area that are currently on the market.、And、without any question, half tablespoon of cooking oil are barely adequate to cover the surface.、Uh, this wok is frequently known as a stir-fry pan、uh, because of the large size of the flat surface area.、Uh, nevertheless, by using the Tilting and swirling the oil on the surface of the wok、uh, allow the surface of the wok to be coated with thin layer of、uh, cooking oil. As you can see, because of its large flat surface area, a lot of tilting and swirling is necessary、uh, to make sure that the surface area is coated with a thin layer of cooking oil. A stainless steel、uh, is notoriously a、uh, for、uh, have egg sticking to the surface of the wok when you cook them. So it has always been suggested that、uh, cast iron wok and carbon steel wok is much better、uh, for frying eggs. But as shown here, this is not really the case、uh, because with this thin layer of oil that coat this stainless steel wok,、uh, I can still able to allow the egg to slice freely、uh, without sticking to the surface of the wok. So this setup demonstration debunked the idea、uh, that you use less oil、uh, to cook in a round bottom wok as you would in a wok with a large flat surface area. And by using half tablespoon of cooking oil,、uh, I'm able to fry an egg in all of these woks of different sizes effectively. Uh, the difference is that when you cook in a round bottom wok, the oil will pool in the center of the wok, and consequently, that、uh, you have more oil、uh, aggregated in one area.、Uh, when you cook with a wok that with a large flat surface area, such as in this case with the Cusina 14-inch stainless steel wok,、uh, you need to swell and till the wok in such a way、uh, so that the oil can spread. Over the entire flat surface area of the wok, and so with this consideration, at、uh, the flat bottom surface wok is definitely more advantageous, because with a wok with a large flat bottom surface area,、uh, you can use it like a small frying pan、uh, for other cooking functions than just doing stir frying.、Uh, for example, you can、uh, cook an egg omelet. Uh, you can even make a, a grilled cheese sandwich by using it as a small frying pan.、Uh, you can also make French toast, and if necessary, you can use it to fry hamburgers. And this will allow you to use the wok for other cooking functions. 
uh, than just using it for stir frying. As you can see, that the difference is quite uh, significant in the bottom surface area of the wall, and you can see how such difference can lead to the versatility of the wok in carrying out other cooking functions. And the question you might ask is the round bottom wok is better in stir frying uh, than the flat bottom wok. Even though the stirring probably more efficient in the round bottom wok, but certainly not in the home kitchen. Uh, so my answer is that a flat bottom wok not only works better with a modern kitchen stove, but it is also more functional. I hope this video to help you have a better appreciation of the distinction between a round bottom and a flat bottom wall, so you can make a proper choice. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.